Hey, what up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you here today. The uh, news of the day as of right now is that Kurt Angle went on to uh, Facebook doing a Q&A uh, with fans and friends. And Kurt Angle's big announcement that he made throughout the show is when he was asked is that he is going to be returning to wrestling in September. Uh, it seems like just, uh, you know, last month, uh, Kurt Angle, the news came out that he was going to have to stop wrestling because he was having neck trouble. He was going to have to go into his neck, having surgery, you know, removing tumors. And this seemed like a big ordeal at the time. But, uh, you know, Kurt Angle has always been a guy to throw caution into the wind and just sort of like go into the ring when fans are basically begging. Please, Kurt, um, you know, you've done enough. Uh, we love to see you wrestler. You're one of the best wrestlers there's ever been in the history of wrestling. But enough is enough. And, um, and maybe this is because, you know, Kurt Angle um, is wrestling in TNA and not wrestling in WWE. And maybe he's not making as much money as he should have. But TNA really took him in and he's always really been loyal to them. If you can remember back when Kurt Angle was released uh, from WWE, basically he was fired. Um, Vince McMahon sort of had the thought of that he was going to send Kurt Angle home. He had failed a drug test and, and, and uh, he had failed too many drug tests. And uh, Angle was at the point where he was uh, addicted to pain pills. This is something that he's widely talked about in, in, in many interviews. And uh, if you watch the shoot interview, I believe, it, which was done with High Spots, it might have been RF Video that came out right after the release, right when he signed with uh, uh, TNA. He is very, very vile uh, towards Vince McMahon, towards WWE, basically saying that they threw him out uh, like a wounded dog and that, um, you know, you know, Kurt Angle was asking uh, to take time off the road um, so he could heal his body, heal himself, you know, kick the addiction of pain pills, maybe go to rehab. And Vince just kept pushing him out there, saying that, you know, somebody needed to go out there, somebody needed to put over John Cena, and then it needed uh, to be Kurt Angle. So for some reason, Angle had to be wrestling on these shows. And uh, if you can remember at the time, you know, when Angle was released, he was sort of just added to the ECW brand. He was supposed to, you know, breathe that really, really good wrestler. Uh, I don't I don't want to say that he was going to be Taz um, from, you know, the ECW day, but, you know, when ECW was rolled out by Vince to be the third brand, it was supposed to be like it was ECW. Like, there was no time period gap. You know, the five years that ECW had been closed, it was just supposed to pick up where it left off. And, uh, you know, I think Angle was supposed to fill into that role as the uh, wrestling suplex machine. I don't know where Kurt Angle is going to be added into the TNA fold when he comes back. I know that TNA just recently got done a lot of filming. Uh, they did a lot of tapings. I don't know how far this goes, but the rumor is that, uh, you know, um, at the end of the summer, you know, Destination America is going to cut off ties with TNA. And where TNA goes from there uh, with the shows that they have filmed, uh, I have no clue. I know that, yeah, you know, basically they're going to run a house show here or there, but they're basically really holding on uh, to doing the um, uh, the UK tour, which is a big moneymaker for them uh, come January. Um, they, they normally do television from there, but hopefully they have somewhere to show the television. I know that they have some overseas commitment, which Dave Meltzer talks about. Uh, that that um, it'll you know keep them going for a little bit, but what's the point if you don't have mainstream America to fund you? So what this means for Kurt Angle, I have no idea. But he plans to come back in early September. Um, I'm not sure where that puts him on the taping schedule, but the TNA uh, former World Heavyweight Champion is ready to get back into the ring.